Hello viewers, welcome to my channel once again. In my previous video, I have discussed about the average value of an AC circuit B equal to zero. That the average value in an, of a current in an AC circuit is equal to zero. Today, we would like to look at the half average value of current in an AC circuit. That is what we are looking at. Normally, students receive a lot of answers from their teachers concerning the half average value of current in an AC circuit being equal to 2i0 all over pi. Let us see how we can get to that, right? But in case if this is your first time watching this video, you can click on the right button so that next time we should meet on the word RMS, the root mean square value of current being equal to 0 uh, 0.707 i note. All right, so let's see how we can solve this. Okay, the first thing is uh, we must consider a word for a complete one cycle. For a complete one cycle, a, a graph of current against time, this is the period because it's one period, okay? But today we are looking at half of it. So it should be T over 2. That is half of the complete period. And in my previous video, I've talked about uh, the average value, saying that average value this is equal to integral of I dt all over d t, integral of the t. Okay, so today. As we are looking at half average value, it will be i over 2, then integral. It will now, the limit will now be 0, not longer 0 to t, but 0 to t over 2. Okay, then i dt all over integral of 0 to t over 2, then dt. This should be my equation one, okay? Let that one should be equation one. Generally, in an AC circuit, the graph of current against time is given by this very equation, I, I naught, sine omega t. Let this be equation two. So putting equation two into equation one, we will definitely going to have uh, this I, half average we're going to be integral of 0 t over 2 i naught sine omega t all over integral 0 t over 2 then dt so we just go straight and toward start to integrate okay so integrating this the constant will come out when you integrate sine omega t you will have minus cos omega t all over omega then bracket close the limit is 0 t over 2 then all over when you integrate this you're going to have t then the limit is 0 t t over 2 all right so from there we'll start substituting our limit straight okay so we will have i I note all over omega because omega is constant so we have a, a open bracket minus cos omega t over 2 substituting the upper limit minus open bracket minus cos omega times 0 because the lower limit is 0 this t you replace it with 0 there then close bracket, big bracket, close. All over this, when you substitute the upper limit, then you have t over 2 because this is 0. Okay? So from there, the next step, uh, we have we have i naught over omega. Then our bracket open. So we have minus uh, cos minus cos omega is given as 2 pi over t so we can say 2 pi 
over t times t over 2. Okay? So, plus, minus times minus will become plus. Then, w times 0 will be 0. So, because 0, close the bracket, all over t over 2. Okay? So, 2 will cancel 2. t will cancel t. So, we'll be having i naught over omega meant into uh, minus cos pi plus cos 0 close the bracket all over t over 2 okay so from there cos cos pi cos pi is same thing as cos 180 cos pi is the same thing as cos 180 cos 180 is minus 1 so we have minus into minus 1 close bracket plus cos 0 is equal to 1 close the bracket all over t over 2 okay so from there we continue this is equal to i naught over omega the minus minus will give us plus so we become plus 1 plus 1 okay close the bracket and then all over t over 2 when you rearrange this, we're going to give us I naught over omega times 2 over t. Then 1 plus 1 will also be what into bracket 2. Okay, if you clear all this bracket, it will be I naught times 2 times 2. So will give us 4 I naught all over 4 uh, all over omega t. Then we know that omega is equal to 2 pi over t so we can simply substitute it for i naught all over 2 pi all over 2 pi over t then times t this t will cancel this t and finally 2 here 1 2 here will be 2 so finally we have 2 i naught all over pi and that is it that is our final answer. Thank you for watching.